Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel, Sunday Budgeting Day. Today I want to talk to you about things that I'm no longer, or for at least for a while, not buying at the Dollar Tree to save money. Let's get started. And before getting and showing you what I'm not buying, I want to mention something to you guys. Because of everything going on, I'm, and because I'm not sure about what money I'll be making in April, I'm having to do some major cutbacks. And it's interesting because it really is true what a lot of folks say, not for everyone, but the more people make, not everybody, generally, the more they spend. And many times I think people get confused at what is a need and what is a want. And I know I've probably had that myself. And I know that there's many things that I can rationalize buying because, oh, it's not very expensive or, oh, it's on clearance or things that I think that I need or I'm habitually doing. An example of that, which I'll get into the video now, is going to the Dollar Tree. Do I need to go to the Dollar Tree every Thursday with my friend? No, I don't need to, but I love it. I love to socialize. It's a lot of fun. And I always find something I need. And so I give myself a $10 weekly budget. Well, guess what? I, there's actually nothing I absolutely have to buy there and if I didn't go that would save me $40 a month if I didn't do Dollar Tree shopping and purchase some of those things other places so I'm gonna get an example and tell you what first of all I occasionally will buy these facials facials these little uh, yes miracle oil calm and soothe if and it's like a dollar for this right Guess what? That's not something I absolutely need. I can probably make my own facial from ingredients I have at home. This is a dollar, and so I don't need to go to the Dollar Tree for that. So that's something right now that I will not be purchasing. Also, here is a decoration for St. Patrick's Day. And I think it's really cute, and I think it's actually a pretty good deal for a dollar. It'll look cute on our door, but I don't need to be buying any kind of decorations right now. It's not something that is a need. One of these things I'm about to show you that I do buy at the Dollar Tree, I have a feeling some of you are going to want to reach through the video and throttle me, and I'll explain in a minute. Another thing that I like to buy at the Dollar Tree because I wipe up my bathrooms every day is Super um, Oxygen Bathroom Cleaner. And I use this, and obviously I still need to clean my bathroom, but I have plenty of other types of cleaning materials and things that I can use to clean my bathroom besides buying these scrubbing bubbles. I have all sorts of cleaning supplies here at my house. So I won't be buying this and I'm going to use what I have at home. Another thing that I do buy are facial wipes that I sometimes use. Well, I don't need to be purchasing these either. I can just use a wash rag. Now, one of the things that I buy probably every other week, and I'll be honest with you, it's because it's convenient for me since I work from home, is I will buy these little lasagna pans, two for a dollar. And I'll use these and I'll spray them and I might put meat in them or whatever that I'm preparing in here so that I, and I reuse them. So a lot of times after I use it, I don't just use it once depending what I make in here. But guess what? I could not have to use these because I already have another pan and I just have to wash it out. But I've been using these just for convenience. So, these are just a few things that I can think of at the Dollar Tree that I don't need to be purchasing right now. And if I stopped shopping at the Dollar Tree right now, like I said, I don't necessarily spend 10 bucks a week, but let's say I did because that's what I budget, that would save me $40 a month right now. I think there's a lot of areas in many of our budgets where we feel our needs. And another example, and I'll, my husband's going to disagree with this one, but I love having a cup of coffee in the morning. But let's say things got tight and I didn't have a lot of work and maybe we only had 50 bucks a week for groceries. Well, coffee is not an actual need. It'd be better for us to have some nutritious food. Also, some of my, uh, you know, keto bars, my Quest bars, which actually I've gotten a lot of those for free with through Amazon, through my Amazon gift card that I earned. But that's not something that I need right now. So... I'm just really cutting back and really honing in on things I need and really reevaluating what I'm buying and seeing if it's something that is a priority right now. If any of you are cutting back on things that you're buying, I would love to know what are you cutting back on right now that you were always in a habit of buying, but now you're reevaluating. I'd like to know. And I'm just thinking of something positive because I always like to look for the silver lining. Right now we're going through a rough time, but they always say this time will pass. 
and we are going to get back and we're going to come back stronger. With that being said, what I love about all this is I'm even becoming more frugal and maybe many of these frugal tips will stay with me so by the time we do get back I'll have developed even better frugality skills where I'll even be saving more money. So let me know what you guys think. How are you saving money today? I want to hear from you. This is Money Mom signing off and as always I love you. Bye bye.